one lighter to rule them all? Do you want to know more? Then please stick around. everyone to another fun-filled review and today's review is on the Exotac Titan light I have been wanting one of these for four plus years since they came out um, I held off for two reasons one I wanted to see where the price went um, Currently on Amazon, the price of these is $59.46. That's what I paid. Second reason I held off is early, early, early reviews. When they first came out, people were having issues with them. Uh, most of the issues were fluid coming out the top, them literally acting like a, a torch, you know fluid bubbling out while it's on fire and it turned out that a lot of that stuff was people overfilling them so I just wanted to make sure there was no bugs or anything like that before I got one and the reason I'm so excited about this cigarette lighter is it doesn't have the weakness that this torch lighter does which is atmosphere and temperature that's the kryptonite of this butane gas lighter now an average everyday Zippo and it won't light why because every time you put fluid in these unless you're using it regularly and putting fluid in it regularly the fluid evaporates out every time and if you put too much fluid in this and put it in your pocket you end up with zippo leg it's not fun so there's all kinds of tricks that were tried with a zippo one trick you see I have several zippos here one trick was to put a piece of bicycle inner tube also known as a ranger band around it to try to seal it up and this kind of works it extends the life of the fluid in here but not enough to make it totally worthwhile it still will eventually evaporate out another thing that came out for Zippos was these little inserts that go in the back they're kind of rubberized and they kind of seal up the back so between this and this it, it, it helps but it does not solve the problem enter the Titan light this has an o-ring at both ends and it seals hermetically preventing fluid loss I'll give you a look at the packaging here. I didn't realize when I ordered it that it was going to come carded. Love that right there. Give you a chance to look at this whole thing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. And of course, I got the green one because I love green let's see if I can do this without slicing my hand open And I didn't even scratch it look at that 
and there it is in my hand to get a size comparison. We'll set it down here. Now, let's look at the specs from the product page on Amazon. It says 0.14 pounds. You know, it feels really light. We're going to weigh it, don't worry. Uh, let's see if they actually, the measurements they're giving is for the carded, the whole card. They're saying an item weight of this is 2.24 ounces. No metric. And I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any measurements on the Titan Light itself on this page. So we are going to do it ourselves. We're going to do it live. We're going to do it live. Okay, first things first. Let's see what the dry weight is. Shall we? Okay, first is in pounds. One and five eighths of an ounce or 47 grams. And that's dry weight because there's no fluid in this. Okay. All right. One of the cool things about this is the top. It's a single twist top to open it. So you turn and it literally, you can see how extreme the threads are. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Man, the fit and finish. It's just excellent. Wow. That is cool. Okay, let's take a look here in the bottom. This is where you put the fluid in. Oh, yeah. Now, one of the other cool things about this light is it will use a Zippo wick. It will use Zippo flints. It will use Zippo fluid. Or got some Ronsonol fluid here. Old Ronsonol flints. And I even bought, have a bulk package here of like a hundred flints that will fit a Zippo, so it'll fit this too. Another thing you can do if you can't buy any wicks, and I've done it before for my Zippo, is you can find cotton string. It's gotta be cotton string that's the same size as this, and you can make a homemade wick and stick in there, which works out pretty well. Okay. Let's see if there's anything here. First, doo -doo -doo. yeah, uh, two milliliters of fuel to the cotton for the first fill. Mm, it says, uh, first time filling, unscrew small bottom cad and add two mil of fuel, blah, 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 blah. And if I remember right, this cap, the cap itself acts as a measuring device. So... Let's, uh, let's get some fluid in it, shall we? Alright. Now, if I remember right, somebody said two capfuls fills this. That's one capful. And that's two. And of course, look at that, I'm spilling it. Alright. I'm going to put the 
guy in there. See, I spilt some and I got some on my hands and just making a dang mess of things. Okay. And it says, allow lighter to set upright for 10 minutes to saturate. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off and bring it back and we're going to see what it looks like when I light it for the first time. Alrighty, it's been enough time that we can try to light it, but first let's do some measurements. At the largest diameter, it's 0.98, you know, whatever inches or 24.91 millimeters. And of course we have Cat, as Mr. James has come here to inspect. Okay, length. Overall length in millimeters is 85.79, 3.3775 inches. Alright. Other thing I want to do now that it has fuel in it, I want to weigh it again. Come on, James, get away from that. Okay, and if we weigh it again, 49 grams, 48 grams, one and three quarter ounces. Okay, let me turn this off. Let's see if she lights up. James, you ain't gonna like this. It's gonna be some some fire. Look at that. It works. Okay. Well, you know what's next. We're gonna do a water test. Before we do a water test, can I manipulate it with winter gloves on? Open fine. Lit just fine. Okay. Now on to the water test. Okay, the moment of truth. Will it float? Will it sink? Will it remain watertight? Let's find out and it sinks like a stone uh... you know what look at the time we're gonna come back in ten minutes so thirty after and we'll pull it out and see if it remained its waterproofness we are back it's been more than ten minutes it's been uh... what fifteen sorry i got uh distracted cats you know so we're gonna pull this out now I could throw this let this set in there I'm drying it off just on my pants just like I would in the field okay uh, I don't see any, I see a drop of water right there but it's outside the o-ring and we have fire now let's see if this blows out when I blow on it. Wow, I had to blow pretty hard to blow that out. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how this can take the extreme cold temperatures. I'm going to put this in my freezer like we did for the torch lighter. It's, uh, you know, we got, I'm going to put it in the freezer for at least 10 or 15 minutes. So I'll bring you back at about let's say 55 5 till the hour how's that sound and we will see when I pull it out of the freezer if it lights right back right up alright we're back and it's been more like a half hour <laughs> got distracted again this is fresh out of the freezer and it's reading ooh negative in the negative Celsius range look at that negative 2 Celsius or 26 degrees Fahrenheit so this thing is pretty cold Ooh, yeah it's cold and look at that 
completely unaffected by temperature or altitude, just like a Zippo. There is one more thing I want to take a look at, and that is the mechanism in here to replace the flint. And apparently, it's this pin right here. And apparently, you can push it through. Oh, yeah, it did move. Hmm. Mm. Wow, you're not going to get that out with, unless you push down, I wonder. Oh, yeah, you got to push down. Okay. Got to push down pretty hard with your thumb, and I can feel the spring pressure. I'm going to let that up nice and easy. Yep, and there's our flint. Okay. So the flint, this is the flint, I'm holding it in my fingers here, see it? It drops down in here, I'm going to make sure that goes back in there. And then you have just this uh, spring assembly here that would be pushing against this. And I guess the easiest way to put this back together would be to line this all up. Okay. And let's see if I can get this all lined up. Now the this little brass pin, whoop. See that I almost lost it. If you lose this brass pin, they do sell replacement parts on Exotax website. Ah, there we go. I got it in. And I heard it snap. Yep, went all the way through. Let me just make sure. Okay. And it lights. A nice little hack you can do to carry extra flints with you, which I think is a good idea, is just like the Zippo lighter. You go ahead, you're going to take your Titan light, you're going to open the back, and kind of fluff this up a little bit. Take your flints, just set them here, and when you screw this down, it'll kind of compact them. No rattling. It's holding those flints right in the bottom there. You just got to remember that you have flints in there and when you go to fill. And that's how you can have extra flints with you for out in the woods. Also, this lanyard hole up here is pretty big. I got some uh, paracord here and yeah, it fits. So you can put that on some paracord, put it around your neck, whatever, keychain, whatever. I, I wouldn't put this on a keychain myself because it, it's expensive and it would get beat up pretty bad by your keys. Okay, final thoughts. What do I think? This lighter has none of the weaknesses of a butane or a Zippo. It has all the strengths, and then some. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube of guys that have these, and four months down the road, they're pulling it out and lighting it, and it still lights, and they've only filled it one time. Uh, you just got to make sure not to overfill. If you overfill these, it can turn into a bloody torch. Um, and when it gets low to where this won't, easily light you take this cap off and you put one cap full in the two cap fulls is what you put in when this is completely dry <coughs> like let's say for whatever reason you've opened this all up open the end up and let everything evaporate out two cap fulls for when it's bone dry one cap full to refill it when it gets hard to light. Do not overfill. I'm so impressed by the machining, by the quality. It has met my expectations. 
Now, is it worth the price? That is something you will have to ask yourself. For me, my life is worth more than 59 bucks. Now, I know that sounds a little facetious, but I've been in situations where I could have died if I couldn't have got a fire going. Um, the one that comes to mind is there's this river here. It was a long time ago. I was trying to cross the river via a log. It was the middle of winter. The log was covered with ice and I took a spill right into the river. I was soaked to the bone and I was hypothermic. Now, I could not get a fire going. The only reason I'm still here, I'm still alive, is I was close enough to home that I forced myself, I power marched, I, I did jumping jacks, I did everything I could to try to keep my body moving and I made it home and when I got home I'm not kidding you I couldn't talk I was shivering so badly I was hypothermic um, just room temperature tap water would burn my skin it was horrible if I had had something like this hermetically sealed you know it's it's like a, it's like a Zippo I could have made a fire that experience wouldn't have been as terrible as it was. So for me, it's worth the money. But I'm in the outdoors. I, I, I like going out. I like doing these things. For me, this is the only lighter I'm going to really need for the rest of my life. I have other lighters. I've sh you know done reviews on other lighters on here, and I'll probably do other reviews on other lighters on here. But this is the gold standard. This is the king bar none you know I'll admit the whole how you change the um, the flint in there is a little goofy and you got to be careful but uh, hey that's a small price to pay for such a lighter two big thumbs up I approve so I will see you later on out in those woods thank you for watching and you know who you are, you few people that keep giving me thumbs up. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. Thank you a lot.